me. Do you hear the suffering, Senua? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on your father, Zinbel, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. The darkness took her life, and it will take.
still fight on. You should suffer with your brethren in this rot and let your blood seep into the seas of the rivers of hell. Isn't that what you deserve after four years? Give the darkness what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think he would thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends, to his father? <laughs> You're both You're dead. dead. You both surrendered to the voices. The darkness has taken you. Galena and Senwa. Galena and Senwa. That night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Senua, look at me. so many and I've lost my father I can't lose you you said I have blood on my hands I didn't say that you've done nothing wrong someone was right everyone will suffer Zimbal is a fake he is a hateful bitter liar He's poison, and his words still haunt you. Who do you trust, him or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Oh, and now we're outside where we need to be. 
That's very true. The sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. Now, I will say before this uh, cutscene ends that uh, I apologise for most of the. Um, audio has been a bit messed up in this episode. Um, my microphone was having a bit of a problem. Things are going wrong with recording today, guys and girls. But hopefully I've sorted it, and hopefully now you can hear me clearly. But I travelled so far now, and now it seems like I'm back to the start. I need to go through that door, I'm gonna guess. Because there was a door up on a bridge that we couldn't get to earlier on, if I remember. Thank you, voices in my head. There's a way in. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Listen to us. That's it. Shall we tell her where to go? Do I have to go this way? I don't even know. Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a bit cool, isn't she? I'm gonna guess up the stairs, maybe. There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Go away. We're going through the door. Listen. What's the bed? And there's gonna be a puzzle waiting for me. Into the mountain. Ah, oh, that way there's open to me. It'd be quite handy if you were able to jump in this game. Okay, well you were looking at that. Don't open the door, stay back. Well, why should you not open the door? Oh. What's it like? A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What were you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you were too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. We're doing it. We're doing it running. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. It's stalking me from the shadows, is it? Well. That way has some light. Run! Do you 
Don't fall for it. It's me, Seno. <gasps> so loud. It's not her. So full of head. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. But he always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say that I'm already dead. Oh, and that they want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? <laughs> Do you see their faces? He's <gasps> coming! Senor! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! She escaped the darkness. She oh, really? took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. I have to make this... When her mother I think these her three mother. symbols, are you kidding me? Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld. Uh, of course I can't open that door. He said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father. Let's light these torches so that we I have I just light. To risk upsetting her. So that the beast that does not get us in the night. You show up there. Okay, we we didn't go down here yet, so we're gonna go down here. But before we go down there, I think we're gonna end this episode here. I'm delighted to subscribe and all that good jazz, and I apologise again for the audio in this uh, in this part. Hopefully, in the next part, I'll have it fixed. Take it easy, catch you in the next one.